and I thought I could paint them white. I have a thrift haul for you today and it's all living room related and I have a bunch of changes to the living room as well. So I want to take you guys back just a couple weeks, Smoky, just a couple weeks and show you guys what we have accomplished, what we have purchased for the living room. Someone's running around the bedroom. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? He is the sweetest thing ever, aren't you? Are you the sweetest thing ever? What is it? You want to sit right here by mom? Nope, he wants to run off. And then after I show you guys all the fun details in the living room, I'm going to show you my thrift haul. When Carrie gave me the piano, she told me if I ever decided to get rid of it that Sarah and Jeremy, now you have seen Sarah on my videos, we go thrifting together. Her husband always told Carrie he liked the piano. So when I finally decided to let it go, I texted Sarah and they decided they wanted it. So they came and picked it up and now the piano is theirs. And it is such a lovely piece, but um, I just decided to get a little bit more space in my living room and I felt good about the decision. The wallpaper came in as you noticed on the last video. And at this point, I am still trying to decide if I want to do wallpaper. Carrie tells me no. She said, I don't want to be tied down to a certain look. And most of you preferred the more green and blush tone wallpaper, which is this one right here. And so I'm still deciding, but by the end of these little clips put together, which is a couple days worth, I will have decided what I want to do. I had some leftover beadboard that I did not use, so Titus loaded it up in the truck and I took it back to Lowe's and picked up some more joint compound. And Titus is off today, so he decided to help us get the joint compound on the last bit of this big wall in the living room. Now, my two side walls are rather large and they're rather tall so it was nice to have his help and he was so fast at the job the girls and i were just like in awe of how fast he could texture the walls compared to us so we are just going to be joint compounding and this took a couple weeks probably about two weeks just because we would get tired of doing it. Not that it's hard, but that is what you'll be seeing us doing is joint compounding and trying to get the walls done. And let's see how far we get and how it turns out.
This is a couple days later, and yes, I am still undecided on the wallpaper. So I told the girls just joint compound from halfway down, and it will give me some more time to think about it because if I'm going to be applying wallpaper, I will not be joint compounding that part of the wall. The girls asked if Lacey could come over today, so we had her over and she is helping out in her small way, which is so nice and so much fun. Titus is outside mowing the lawn and it is a beautiful spring day here in California. So we're still joint compounding and this process is not hard, but it does just seem monotonous. And I will tell you guys a little tip. If you're going to be joint compounding, Carrie told me this little trick and it is so much nicer. Use the plastic, we call them spatulas, the girls do. And I know that's not the real name, but the plastic ones versus the metal one are game changers when you're applying the joint compound. It is very early in the morning and this is a couple days later and as you can tell I decided not to use wallpaper. I am going to be adding picture framing on the wall which I absolutely love and I love Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility and it is all throughout those movies and I my heart just gravitates towards that look. So that's what I'm going to be putting up on these walls and I'm headed to Lowe's to pick out some trim and see which one I prefer for the picture framing. I have several ways I could hang this picture framing on the window wall and I'm still trying to decide right now if I want to use a thicker trim piece or the piece of trim that I used in my bathroom makeover which is still pretty too it's just more delicate and I feel like this could make the living room absolutely gorgeous or if I don't get it right it could be like oh when you walk in like what was she trying to do and I don't want that I want it to look timeless and just beautiful and so I'm really taking my time and trying all different options on that wall taping it off and reapplying it in a different um, design and then I'll know what I want here in a couple days once I just look at it and see it on the wall 
Using tape on the wall really, really helps. We are checking out. That is my new favorite drink and I have probably two a day. So I'm checking out and let's go home and see what else we have in mind for the living room. Sweetie. Violet Tatter. What's her name? Rui. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she's a little messy from the rain. Uh. <laughs> We are here to purchase the wood floor for the living room makeover. We ran this wood floor through most of our house about three years ago, and we paid to have it put in, and it was about $11,000 to have this project done. And Titus and I are going to do our best to lay, or try to lay this throughout our living room, and which will cut the costs down and also we'll learn. I really want to learn to do this myself and so I'm really excited about learning how to lay wood floor and I feel like the more you know the more self-reliant you are and also you save money so this wood floor is waterproof and it doesn't show hardly anything. It is very versatile. So I am looking around for help. I did not see anybody to help me load it. So I just decided to start loading. And let me tell you, these pallets were so heavy. Finally, halfway through, a gentleman came and took over for me. And he was so sweet and so kind. And I gladly stepped back and let him finish. It is time to check out and Titus gets 10% off here at Lowe's for being in the military and it cost $825 for the wood floor in the living room and loading I asked for help and the guy showed up at the last two pallets so oh, it was hard to load that up it is another couple days later and I am back at trying to figure out this picture framing for the living room wall and I have a thrift haul for you and can't wait to show you what I found on Facebook Marketplace for the living room makeover. All right, 
right, now is the time for the thrift haul. I knew on my window wall that I wanted some type of bookshelves on either side. I have paint all over my hands from painting in the living room, but I knew I wanted bookshelves and I kind of wanted matching bookshelves and I wanted real wood and oh my goodness, they're so expensive if you purchase them new. And so I was on Facebook Marketplace and I saw these two bookshelves for $60 for both. So the 15 minute drive is not bad to purchase something and they are solid wood and I thought I could paint them white and they were kind of like a, I don't know, like the wood wasn't really pretty on it, the stain. So I painted it a alabaster white um, I used the chalk paint from Lowe's and I just had it tinted alabaster. So it will be the same color as the walls. I kind of just think I want it to blend and then let my color be inside the bookshelves. So I purchased those. I have one painted and then the other one I have not painted yet. And I just kind of want to see what it's going to look like on top of the wood floor against the white walls and just kind of get an idea. Now, nothing is set in stone. Sometimes I change my mind when I'm in the middle of decorating and then sometimes I'm like, I stick to what I know I want. And then I was with my mother-in-law probably, I don't know when, it was been a while ago. And we went thrifting and I found these two huge baskets for $25 for the, I think I paid 25 for both of them, if I remember correctly, which I feel is a very good price. And these are going to go so well in my living room, maybe even on my baker's rack that I just um, purchased in Southern California. So it's kind of a smaller haul as in item wise, but it's a big haul because they're big, big items. I can't even hold them up. So I'm going to insert some clips for you guys. And I feel like these three items, um, I feel like it's going to go so well in the living room and just really add some texture and I like my texture to be simple, but yet I like texture. I like the walls textured and then I like to bring my color out in my decor and I've thought about doing color in my living room, but for right now, I think I'm just going to stick with whites and woods tones and just really bring in my color and texture through books, throws, baskets, things like that. So I really like all of these purchases that I found and I feel like I paid really good prices for them as well. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I just love bringing to you guys the details and the moments of my day. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.